Hello there everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I am going to make a uh, special video, well not really that special, just uh, not the usual gaming content that you would see from my channel. Now I know this is a gaming channel and you probably expect j gaming stuff out of it, but uh, I just felt like uh, sharing this with you guys. So this is going to be a five reasons why video. I've already made one uh, last year I wanted to make this a series but you know I didn't really have the time or the subjects weren't maybe all that important there were quite a lot of important subjects so basically in the five reasons why videos I'm going to talk about why you should either or I should w rather do something or the other and I'm going to give five reasons why and today it's going to be about why I am no longer going to be purchasing Gillette products and while I'm talking about this, or ranting, or whatever, um, you're going to see some gameplay footage in the background. This time around it's going to be uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, uh, the Battle Royale mode for the game, which is called, I think, Black Side, or the, the map is called Black Side. So watch me suck at it, as you can probably already see, and uh, listen to me talk about why I'm no longer buying Gillette products. So. Five reasons. Number one, they are quite expensive. Um, so I live in Romania, and uh, even for for Romania, they are actually quite expensive. Uh, I think they are like, I don't know, 25% or 30% more expensive than the close second product uh, or the other products and uh, brands on the market, and that can be a bit too expensive for us, as you know, uh, when you pay, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the price is. Eight dollars for two reserves for the <clears throat> for the Mac Free uh, Gillette uh, razors. If you if you pay eight dollars for two of those puppies uh, and you make four hundred dollars a month, which is probably what most Romanians actually make. Um, of course, we have people that earn more than that, but you know the baseline is uh, is about four hundred uh, euros or dollars or something along those lines. So when you pay two percent of your monthly income for two razors. Razor reserves. That's uh, that's actually expensive, and uh, I'm not even going to talk about their other products like their shaving creams and uh, whatever else they have because those are also you know, just as overpriced and uh, not as good. So mm, here we go to point two. The po uh, in point two or in reason two is because they are low quality. Seriously, I mean they might be higher quality in some regions of the world or in some I don't know areas whatever. But uh, I remember uh, when I used to travel to Austria, uh, because I lived there for quite a quite a lot of time. Uh, when I traveled to Austria, I uh, I used to always buy my razors from there, the digital the razors from there, because they were net net superior, netly superior to the ones that you could buy in Romania for almost the same price. I mean, sure, they were also a bit more expensive than the Romanian versions, but they were just flat out better. Like I don't know, the quality was much much higher. And sure, okay, so in some parts of the world they might be uh, of, uh, of better quality. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to say that that's not possible, but uh, uh, it's not the case over here. And also there are other products, just like I said before, the shaving creams, and those are not specific specifically uh, good or great uh, in any way, shape, or form. Right, uh, let's go to. Point number three, which is product line dying out. So they have uh, quite an old product line of just you know the typical razors. Uh, I think they peaked right around when they made Gillette Mac Free and then the, the whatever Mac Free other products were, um, which were you know quite quite okay. I, I would say good for their time. Um, but that was it. That was uh, basically everything that, uh, or or their be or their best, so to say, and they've stayed behind um, in uh, product diver diversity and in relevance. So most people nowadays actually um, use actually use um, either the uh, actually not most people, but a lot of people nowadays are starting to use the um, electrical um, shavers or well, how should I call them I mean the machines you know what I mean uh, or they actually they're actually going back in time and they're using the old-fashioned um, 
razors that we used to have when uh, when way back you know like our grandfathers and maybe even our fathers had so yeah I mean they're not that relevant anymore uh, that is also one of the issues that I have with them the fourth one the fourth reason is because uh, Procter & Gamble which is uh, the parent company of Gillette actually have a monopoly uh, not only in the razor departments but uh, in a lot of departments in a lot of products that they sell and I'm actually pro-capitalist, pro-free uh, uh, market, but uh, against um, against monopolies because monopolies are never good. They, they, I don't, I don't agree. I mean, there are some economists which say that you know monopolies can be good or whatever, but I don't personally agree. I don't actually think that they are good for either the the, the buyers or the. Uh, uh, the people um, making the products because the people making the products won't be incentivized to actually make better products because they're already earning a lot of money or their investors are earn, uh, earning a lot of money and they don't don't need to focus on, on new uh, research and development and stuff like that and then the guys who are buying the product have no real alter alternative because the uh, other products on the market are either going to be uh, not advertised or not they're not going to find out about them uh, or uh, they're not going to be um, as competitive from a price standpoint <clears throat> right so that is reason number four reason number five and uh, the most important one uh, is the recent um, advertisement that I've made uh, which is woke on third wave or postmodern feminism and I completely disagree with that, uh, with the assessments of the video, with the imagery, which, with how they portrayed men, with how they portrayed white men. I mean, I am a white man, uh, and uh, I, I certainly did not find the video to be either um, amusing or, I don't know, close to reality or close to what I do, or uh, it, it doesn't represent me. It, it I mean. <sighs> It's very hard to explain the feelings and uh, the train of thought behind me not liking their um, uh, their uh, feminist or feminist propaganda uh, ad, but uh, it's it's just it's just ridiculous. I mean, stop portraying men like they are rapists and uh, I don't know. Um, abusers and overly violent and overly uh, I don't know um, this this is not this is not how real men actually are most people are decent most guys are decent or halfway decent you know not everybody's going to be a, a, a saint or a savior or whatever you you'd like to call them uh, not everybody is going to you know love social problems and helping out other people that's not, but that that's not how people are but that doesn't mean that just because they're not your ally or direct direct ally that you should be treating them like hostile uh, assholes and, uh, and and I don't know people which uh, you must at all costs disagree with else uh, I don't know else it's um, it's it's just sad it's just that and I'm truly annoyed by this ad that they've made I know that uh, a lot of people have already posted about this I'm not trying to be you know one of those uh, edgy uh, political channels or anything like that but uh, I have to express my own opinion on this and uh, my own feelings on the fact that they are trying to uh, over and over again stick me in the same pot with a lot of assholes and a lot a lot of bad men which do bad horrible stuff and uh, you know I'm, I'm just tired of it I'm, I'm really tired of it and I hope that uh, the media and the internet gets tired of it as, as well soon enough because it's not productive it's not solving any issues I mean there are real life issues which these feminists aren't addressing right they're very quick to judge and uh, point the finger at Western men and uh, particularly white men for example but uh, you won't hear one freaking peep out of them when it comes to to Middle Eastern or to certain religious people uh, 
patriarchal ways of living and of uh, I don't know um, treating women and treating children and uh, treating other men which are not their let's say equal right so there are real issues with real patriarchal um, systems either cultural or religious or whatever uh, in this world and these feminists always try to point the finger at the white men which have basically built Western civilization whether you like it or not whether you think that is uh, an overstatement on my part or not sure I mean there are lots of people who consider colonialism and imperialism to have been the root um, well not cause but the root the, the main reason why uh, the West grew but I, I don't think that that's completely true or maybe not even not even I don't know not even a quarter true I mean sure there were some some issues when uh, you know uh, when the West world's uh, uh, imperialistic and, uh, and colon colonial colonialistic yes uh, there were some issues of course but that was like hundreds of years ago that's I don't have personally anything to do with that even I mean I'm a Romanian we never had an empire right so even if that was today I would still personally not have anything to do with that it's not it's not the way of, of my people or of my forefathers it's not what my grandfathers or my father uh, believes in or believed in for my grandfathers uh, and uh, it's it's certainly annoying to see fingers being pointed always at at, at us at the men uh, particularly at the white at the white men so I really wish that more companies get in on the fact that this whole uh, getting woke um, campaign uh, well not campaign this, this, this trend because it's a trend it's just an internet thing this whole trend is bad for their business it's bad for their clients it's bad for them for their reputation and I just hope that more of these companies or um, I don't know product uh, managers or whatever HR people um, whatever marketing people they I hope that they get in touch with reality and they get in touch with how people actually feel about these uh, ideologically driven narratives that are getting spewed in our um, ads and in our products and, and whatever and I hope that they stop soon because the hashtag get woke go broke is actually very accurate and I'm certain that the that Gillette is going to face major public backlash uh, after posting this I would say reckless ad right so that was me thank you to everybody for watching and listening I hope I haven't bored you too much but those were my five reasons why I will not be buying Gillette products any longer and yeah hopefully I'll see you guys next time in a much funner gaming video as per usual goodbye